all the member states of CRFM, they are Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Suriname, Trinidad, and Turks and Caicos Islands. So a little bit on the history and the mission of CRFM. The CRFM was officially inaugurated on 27th of March, 2003 in Belize City, where it is headquartered. So that's our headquarters, Belize, following the signing of the agreement establishing the CRFM on February 4th, 2002. And the mission of the CRFM is to promote and facilitate the responsible utilization of the region's fisheries and other aquatic resources for the economic and social benefits of the current and future population of the region. So as you can, if you do the math, you realize we're, we're, we're celebrating 20 years of existence this year and we're celebrating in a big way. So look out for celebration activities and interactions with us for this year coming up. Now, who do we serve? We serve the people, all the stakeholders in the fisheries industry, which includes fishers and fisher folks, all other industry workers, which include you, the managers, researchers of and in, in fisheries and its environment, all users of the fisheries and its environment. And the primary resources that we are looking out for, they are any resource that supports fisheries and any resource that impacts on fisheries. Now, how do we function? The CRFM consists of three bodies, the Ministerial Council, which is a council of ministers responsible for fisheries. They're similar to like your board of directors and they meet to make decisions. So they are the decision makers. Then we have the Caribbean Fisheries Forum, and this is a group that meets, that those are your national managers or any person that the government of your country nominates to be on that board, that forum, and they meet and discuss matters and then pass advice to the ministerial council. And then thirdly, there is the CRFM Secretariat of which I am a part and the meeting is um, being organized by the secretariat. And we serve as the secretariat to both the forum and the council. And so we do the day-to-day -day running of the decisions made. Now, the, just a little more information on how we function. And I, I have some pictures here for you to see. So first the forum meets, and they provide advice. The advice is passed to the ministers. The ministers make a decision, and then the decision is passed to us to carry out the day-to-day -day running of the business of the secret of the CRFM of the mechanism. And I'm thinking, you are thinking to yourself, how come we did not see the staff members? Well, here we are. So the top picture is in front of the headquarters office in Belize and the bottom pictures apart from the nice lady in the middle who is our deputy executive director Sandra Grant and in the top picture the gentleman in the tie and the white shirt that is our executive director Milton Horton and the rest of us we're in the St. Vincent office so we have two offices one in Belize and one in St. Vincent I'm in the St. Vincent office as well. Some information on the fisheries of the region now. So the fisheries resources of the region, you can find them in three places. You can find them in the inland waters of the member states. We call those our freshwater systems like rivers, ponds, lakes, etc. Then we have resources in aquaculture systems, and these are systems that are for farming and you will find aquatic animals and plants being cultured in these systems. And then of course, uh, we have a lot of resources in our marine waters, and this includes territorial sea waters, the archipelagic waters, the EEZs of your countries, and of course, the high seas. So let me start by just giving you a little bit more 
on what happens in our river system, our river fisheries, because some, some of you will have um, fisheries resources in the rivers and lakes and so on, while some won't. But we have about 11 member states that have inland fisheries that are very important to them. And this is at a cultural level, like catching crayfish in the, in the river or catching treachery. And for those of you who don't know what treachery is, it's on the right side of your screen and you can ask your Eastern Caribbean counterparts, what is treachery? And the countries to target would be St. Vincent and Dominica. That's, it's a very important fishery for them in the rivers. And we have um, other countries with inland waters, great vast rivers that offer significant economic benefits you can find these in Belize, Dominica, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago. A little bit about our aquaculture, a little bit more about our aquaculture production. From 2013 to about 2020, we were producing as a region, the CRFM region, our 17 member states, um, producing about 8,600 tons of fish annually. Um, nine member states are doing well with aquaculture, well, as well as can be expected. These are Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Lucia, SVG, St. Vincent and Grenadines, that is, Suriname and Trinidad and Tobago. And they are doing relatively well. Other member states, they are trying, and we hope that they will be able to come on stream. Belize was the largest aquaculture producer, producing a lot of shrimp and tilapia from 2013 to 2015. They were producing about 6,000 tons annually. However, in 2016, they were struck with a disease, EMS, early mortality syndrome. And since then, production has really plummeted. And you can see my graph that shows, and really that comes because of the real drop in production from Belize. Jamaica and Haiti, are the ones doing better um, at this time. Jamaica is producing about 1,900 to 1,000 tons per year, and Haiti is producing about 6,400 tons. Um, some of the species, I just put up some pictures here for those of you who probably don't know about these, like Hassa. Everybody know about the Nile tilapia. Everybody know about the shrimp. Everybody. Probably some people don't know about tambake. That's usually in Guyana, Hassa, and it's that's usually in Guyana and Trinidad as well. Conk used to be um, cultured in TCI. Mm. The, the, the farm has closed, but used to be. And of course, we do have a lot of sea moss production going on in the region as well. How about the marine fisheries? A little bit about that. Let's start with the industry workers. We have about five to six percent of the workforce of the CRFM working in, fish, in the fisheries sector. That is, we have about just over 113 fishers. We have about 5,000 aquaculture workers, and we have four, about 480,000 persons who supply services and goods to the industry. That includes you. And at this meeting, we are trying to reach out to that sector, um, you who supply services and goods, processing and so on, to the fishing industry. So you recall that we reached out to you in survey, in emails, in, you know, we, we have been reaching out to you. Thank you for your response, your kind response. And we found that we had about 179 marine fish processors across the Seraphim region. We found that we had about 37 aquaculture processors. We found that 61% of those persons had some level of certification and the main certification we found was the HACCP certification. That's excellent. We have about 62% who were involved in export 13% of you are involved in imports and 25% were involved in, domestic, in the domestic market. Um, 33 of our processors actually answered the survey providing responses. And of that number, 
we found that the main marine fish commodity that was processed, we found fin fish being processed, spiny lobster and queen conch. Tilapia and shrimp were the main commodities produced by the aquaculture and some seaweed is also being produced in the region. So let's continue with looking at the vessels in our marine environment. And as you can see, the trend is increasing that we're having increasing number of boats. As it stands today, 20, um, in 2021, we had about 34,006 vessels operating in the CRFM waters, our 17 member states. And around the, 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 the slide, I have some boats as representative from the various countries. The top one, the first one here is from Barbados. The next one below that is Belize, the one with the sticks. The one below that, that's Dominica. Below that, it's Grenada. Then across, you have Suriname vessels. Then across there, you have 80 vessels. And here you have the last one would be Jamaican vessels. So you see, we're very similar, might be a little bit different, but basically those are the boats and the vessels that operate in our waters. Some of the, the vessels that operate in our waters. We also have some vessels on the high seas. And these are from, at this time, Belize and, and St. Vincent. St. Kitts had some as well, but as you can see, St. Kitts, those vessels have been um, taken out of the fleet. And so the vessels that we have on the high seas, that's decreasing. We only have about 34 as a region on the high seas at this time. How about the marine production of the area? The trend is that the fish catch is decreasing. Now, this is quite important because as you can see, we're putting in more boats, more efforts, more vessels and we're getting out less fish. And I have some, um, some of the species that we, we catch and target to the side just for your viewing pleasure. Later on, you'll hear a little bit more about the actual figures and trends. So I will not stay on that, just to give you um, the impression, the, the impression that we're, we're, we're decreasing when it comes to marine production. Um, all valuable species for the region, for the Caribbean, as you can see here, I analyzed 12 member states. I did not have the information for Grenada, Suriname, Jamaica, Haiti, and TCI, but 12 member states. And I found that lobster accounted for 7% of the exports. And the value for that was 89 million US dollars. I found that the fin fish accounted for 68% of the exports and that the value for that was 84 million US dollars. Next, I found that the shrimp accounted for about 21% of the exports and the value for that was 34 million US dollars and conch only accounted for 3% and the value was 12 million US dollars. And you know that at this time, we are facing a challenge with our conch industry, and I hope you have been keeping abreast of the happenings there. Issues that threaten the fishery sector, and I'm going to be leaving you with just food for thought here, because again, this will be discussed further later on, so I'm just the teasing lady, just giving you food for thought to think about as the meeting continue. But these, these Threats were articulated under a study done under the Caribbean Large Marine Ecosystem, CLME. And it stated that at the regional level, the three key issues were overfishing, pollution, and habitat de degradation with climate change as a cross-cutting issue. And of course, I have to tease your brain some more. So I've just listed out myself and my colleagues um, li listed out a few things more as issue for you to think about. We're being threatened by harmful marine and land-based activities. We're being threatened by climate change. We're being threatened by sea level rise. We're being threatened by unsustainable fishing and fishing practices, habitat degradation, pollution from 
and harmful events from tourism, agriculture, industry, forestry, and mining, oil and gas, exploration, shipping, sediments, nutrients, and contaminants from major river systems. Also, we're having most of our fisheries are getting fully fished or becoming overexploited, not to mention the threat of illegal, unreported, and unregulated, what we call IUU fishing. Think on those things. I thank you for your attention, and I'm also going to leave with you something that is a little bit more wholesome to think about. And I'm just getting, giving you a look at some of our fish dishes, which are actually national dishes in the in the in member states. And we have five member states with dishes, national dishes that have fish in it. The first one up is Barbados with cuckoo and flying fish. Then we have roasted breadfruit and fried jackfish. Guess who that is? St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Then we have cracked conch with rice and peas, and that is for the Bahamas. And then we have St. Lucia with green fig and saltfish, and of course, Jamaica with ackee and saltfish. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that the meeting will